Hi there, this is Nikita Netzel. On the bench today is a Parkside Outside Micrometer. Micrometer! And it's range from 0 to 25 millimeters. So let's take a look at this and see what's inside because I'm very interested in having a nice micrometer. And this one was, I think, 7 euros at little. And, um,. It looks okay, it looks nice. However, having had some other tools from Parkside in the measuring category not working quite properly, um, I'm hoping it's good. And it states its precision is 0 0.015 millimeters. And its resolution is 0 0.01 millimeters. So, you get a literature leaflet in the box, you get a nice box in the box, and then you have your micrometer in some plastic, which is nice, and a spanner with that, most likely to either check it or adjust it, I'm unsure. However, there you go, let's take a quick and proper look and even put some more illumination on it. That's very nice. A clicky thimble and I do really need to, well basically, and that's very interesting because Yeah, yeah. So, that's very interesting. This is the lock. It's quite tight. And if you lock it, uh, the barrel doesn't spin at all. And that is a little bit weird, to be honest. So, there's a lock. So, you can preset, of course, a specific distance. Um, however, going in which takes quite a bit of time. The anvils do fit up snugly, which is good, which is important. And the clickety-clack uh, adjustment, basically to hone in on the measurement you're doing, All right? That's good, so it's nicely Painted, I would say, where is the powder coating? I'm unsure. However, most important thing is this is for incidental usage, which basically means that I'll use it to measure, well, drills and such, which means I'll have to be within this range because of the check size on my drill. However, it's good enough for that. I am going to get some of the grease that's on here off and uh, clean it up to make it a very smooth however yeah that's working quite nicely and that's good so now is there something interesting in here number six is a hook wrench for apparently ah for here and apparently you can take it apart technical data measuring range resolution accuracy micrometer hook wrench plastic box one set of instructions for usage which are here so feels hefty feels nice feels proper has a nice spin to it to be honest and let's uh, measure the box that does fit in here, although that look, that's a little bit loose and I don't really care for it. But that's okay, that's okay. So here we go. Just a basic measurement. How thick is the box? So that's that. And right. So it's 20, well that's a good good question, because there are three parts to the measurement, 5, 2 and 3, 
and I'll have to read up on that as well. But I'm guessing, I'm guessing this is a whole rotation, so let's check that. No, multiple rotations. So that's plus minus something. Here we go again. Right. 23 millimeters, would that be correct? Let's see, should be, should be. So that's good. This is Nikita that's saying a little bit of an extended video about a little tool. That's a joke, of course, I'm being purchased at little. And I am going to try to fix this properly because this thing is completely loose. However, for seven euros, it's a handy tool and it's good enough for the stuff I'll be doing. This is Nikita that's saying, I hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.